So today we are in Somerset in the grounds of this beautiful home um, and we have just finished installing this beef eater outdoor kitchen. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the whole process from start to finish and everything about this kitchen. So for this project, um, I had never actually met the customer. We'd spoken a lot over um, video call and telephone call. Um, we'd spoken about the different um, styles and options that he was after. Um, this patio that you can see here had all been done beforehand um, and they're actually getting a, a powder coated aluminium pergola that's going to be going over this whole area. That pergola is going to have like glass sides all the way around it. It's all going to be enclosed. They're going to have some cedar battening in there and I think some louvres as well. Um, so this whole space here is going to be enclosed and the kitchen is going to be inside. It's going to be a really, really good entertainment area. Um, so in the end, the customer decided on the Beef Eater Harmony Kitchen or the Signature Kitchen, which is what this one is here. Um, we have, I think I've done a video of this in our showroom, just a review of it. So if you want to um, have a look at that, we'll leave a link in the description. You can go and have a look at that at the end. Um, so what this is, this is the Beef Eater Harmony. It comes in about six or seven different layouts and those layouts are basically the length of it so the the colors the worktops the doors and everything all are exactly the same what changes is whether you have for example a double fridge or a single fridge a four burner or a five burner a sink no sinks single cupboards double cupboards and all that does is affect the length of the um of, of the kitchen so if you've got a pergola that's say you know three meters long um, we can probably find one of these that will fit in that space exactly. If you've got one that's a little bit longer, we can probably find something to fit in there which will fit exactly the same. So let's have a quick look through this one. So just to talk about the, the kitchen, these are quartz worktops. These are 50 mil thick, 40 or 50 mil thick quartz worktops. Um, what I really like is it's all in set. So you've got these waterfalls that come down, they come all the way along here. It's the same around the barbecue as well. So all of the doors, everything is inset within the worktop. So I think I really, really like that look. It looks really cool. So down at this end here, you have got a beef eater stainless steel double fridge. We've got a little dog here just coming to say hello. Um, we've got the double fridge there. That's a huge fridge. That's gonna um, give you lots of storage for keeping things cold, your beers, your food, your wine, everything that you want to keep in there. Coming along to here, you've got a single um, cupboard here and this is purely for storage now all of these doors are handleless so on the top they've got uh, a plate here a magnetic catch here so when you want to close it push it holds closed when you open it and it pops open again like that so lots of storage in there um, coming along to here this is the beef eater 1600 series and this is a five burner um, so this is a relatively new barbecue i think it came out in 2023 um, it's a really really good grill um, in terms of value for money this is one of my favorite barbecues um, it looks really cool it's really well built um, it's very stylish, it's very sleek, it's um, completely stainless steel on the top here. It's got these aluminium caps on the side. This is the 1600S version, which means that this face down here is stainless steel. There is another one called the 1600E, which means it's like, a, um, like an enamel finish. It's almost like the same finish as the side bits here. So we'll open it up. You can come and have a look in here if you want. This is probably just under a meter wide. Um, you've got just like the open griddles there, you've got a warming rack there, and you've got a flat plate there for doing your teppanyaki, onions, um, prawns, anything like that that you want to. Underneath here, you've got your pull out um, drip tray. I'd always recommend putting some um, like tin foil in there, something like that, or some sand, just to help the clean up at the end. Um, you have got a viewing window here and a thermometer um, to keep an eye on the temperature. 
Underneath this, you've got two ginormous drawers. So in there, you can see um, that the customers kept all of their um, pizza peels, turners for their deli vita oven there. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so that's a really wide, that's really handy for keeping um, utensils and things like that. And again, it's soft close, it's handleless. So you just push it to open. Same again there. And you've got another drawer there. Again, huge, lots of space to keep things in. Uh, coming along to the end here, you have got a tap. I mean, this is huge and this actually comes out as well. It's one of those where you, um, uh, you can pull it out of the thing like that. Turn it on, there you go. And it's a good, decent sized sink as well. So if you're washing up pots and pans, it's gonna do that easily. Um, so it is worth noting, you will need power and you will need water and a waste if you're having a kitchen like this with a sink and a fridge. Um, underneath there, again, you've got the two doors there, lots and lots of storage underneath there. And again, they're both handleless, push to open. Uh, coming along to here, let's talk about this. This is the Deli Vita wood-fired oven. I absolutely love this oven. I have, um, I have done a video of this as well. So if you wanna go and check that out, uh, we'll leave a link in the description for that as well. These are really good ovens. If you are looking for a pizza oven, this is definitely worth, worth looking at. Um, they come in lots of different colors. Um, it takes about 20 minutes to get up to heat and then it's gonna cook about, take about 90 seconds or so to cook a pizza. They're really, really quick. Um, it's worth noting, but they're not just for pizzas as well. You can cook steak steaks on there, fish, um, any sort of meat you want. You can get these cast iron trays, do your veggies in there. They're a really, really versatile oven, absolutely brilliant. So if you wanna follow me around the back here, so this is something that is not part of the, um, of the kitchen, it doesn't come with it. Um, but something, because the customer, so the back of this kitchen when you first buy it is just like a white. So um, the units themselves are made of marine ply and they're like coated in, in like a, a enamel uh, sort of coating. Um, instead of seeing that, the customer wanted to put something else on there. So we suggested putting this um, cedar battening on and it works really, really well. So because the customer's having this, um, this pergola around there and he's gonna have some cedar inside, some cedar battening, this is really gonna tie the kitchen into the pergola. Uh, and I just think in, with the gray, the pizza and everything else, it works really, really well. And it just, it just finishes it perfectly. So it's worth noting also, so this barbecue sits on uh, metal brackets here. Um, so they are bolted into the barbecue left and right, and then they slide onto the worktop here. But what you can't see and what we've put in here is a heat shield as well, because we've got this, the actual kitchen itself when it arrives, it comes down, the worktop comes down like this along and up like that. So normally you can see the back of the barbecue here, but what we've done is we've enclosed that to give a much better finish on the edge here. And, and to protect the cedar, we've put this um, heat shield in. So that is a stainless steel, um, like an L-shaped uh, piece of stainless steel, which can be adjusted. So you can use it for three, four and five burner barbecues. And that goes in there, moves all the way along and protects the timber from the barbecue, from the heat from the barbecue. So if you've enjoyed watching this video and you wanna see another one like it, I'll leave a link up here. Just click on that and that'll take you to another of videos of um, one of our other kitchens that we've done. Um, so really appreciate you watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, hit the like button. And if you wanna see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We try and post these at least once a week. Um, we also have Instagram, we have Facebook. Uh, so if you wanna see what we're currently up to, head over there and give us a follow. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>